We're here at the Gouvernement Revival to celebrate the 100th edition of the Tour de France. A unique village has been built, accumulated in the Bicyclette de Albini. Behind us we've got some great bicycles. This is a typical Tour de France bike from the 1900s, 1903, which is when the Tour de France first started. Um, no brakes, it's got inch pitch, fixed chain, and is just a typical French sports bike. Because they had no spare vehicles or support bikes or anything like that, um, everything they had had to go in a leather bag that was either on the front of the bike or on the, on the frame, and they would carry their beer, they would carry their cigarettes. They would have stopped, the rider would have backpedaled effectively, as if it's like a track bike. It's a very, very primitive bicycle. The bicycle that we have here is a turn-of-the-century Griffon, French-made, which would quite possibly have been involved with the first Tour de France of 1903. If you look at the chain alone, it's almost agricultural. Uh, my wife is riding this one. We're twinned with the French club, and after consuming quantities of pastis, was taken downstairs in the yard where there were four bicycles, and this was one of them. They were dusty, dirty, uh, this had got flat tyres, uh, the handlebars were screwed around. To them, they were nothing really special, but to us, couldn't get my hands on them quick enough. <laughs> This is a 1922 Labor. It's got a truss frame in it, and the head badge is a, a steam train which is riding over the bridge. And it's typical of a 1920s Tour de France bike. Aluminium bottles on the front for long distance riding. And this particular model came out of an antique shop in Saint-Meur in France, and it was hanging in a roof in a barn, basically. This is uh, Sir Chris Hoy's bicycle that he's going to be riding in uh, uh, today's Tour de France celebration. Um, it's a 1960 Rosignoli, the frame still tubing uh, and the shop still exists in Milan. It's got full race components on it, it's Pallian uh, Campagnolo uh, and it's built for climbing the coals and bits and pieces on the Tour de France. We might have to adjust the saddle a bit uh, because I hear he's quite a big fella with a bit of luck it should put on a good show. Sitting on top of the Citroen H van, the Peugeot PX10, built in France, as ridden by the famous tour riders like Tommy Simpson. Built with Reynolds tubing from Birmingham, it was a, an icon of the famous team as ridden by Tom Simpson and the British riders. Unfortunately, Tom died on Mont Ventoux in 1967, uh, a great cyclist and a great loss to the cycling community. But the bike has lived on holding his memory. In 1903, they would have worn leather shoes, um, they would have worn woolen shorts, woolen jerseys, um, and then that didn't really change until the 1960s, 70s, and then modern materials started to come in. Um, but these, this is a range of original jerseys mainly from Belgium, because that's where I bought them. Um, but they're all worn by the various clubs and teams. They would have all been decorated in all their team riders. A livery like this, for instance. Uh, this is a 1950s jersey. It's a copy of the original jersey that Fausto Coppi used to ride with, with Bianchi. Um, typical of the styling with the large um, collar, um, pockets on the front. Um, to put things like uh, cigarettes in or sunglasses or anything that Italian cyclists would have wanted. Um, and then the, the style changed to half zips like this um, and a lot more lightweight material. Typical woolen shorts like this would have been worn. Um, and then obviously as materials changed, they would have uh, gone on to more modern materials. And then over the back here, we've got um, original Tour de France musettes, which is carrying bananas and any fuel and things like they would have needed to uh, get them through the day. The Tour de France is such a passion for the French, but it's also becoming a, a multinational celebration of the bicycle. And uh, hopefully people will be able to take away from here a little piece of that passion. Yeah.